Hi everybody, this is Gary Fong, and this is the A6000. The A6000 has, like the other alpha cameras, a really cool technology which is called face recognition. And face recognition is one of the handiest things I can think of for shooting people in action. The only thing is, is which face do you want to choose on? So they give you a couple of choices. One is face registration, where they allow you to choose whose face. You can memorize a certain person's face, and then you can put eight people on them and then stack them in order of importance so that it'll focus on number one first, number two second, number three uh, third, etc. But what happens if you want to lock in on a non-person object while the scene is in motion, or if you quickly want to choose someone different outside of the uh, sequence that you originally had, that is where it comes to the function called focus lock. And focus lock is something that is not readily accessible on the camera as it comes to you in the store. That's why it's important to have to go into the camera and reprogram the buttons into their custom button settings like I show you in my uh, extended length premium videos at SonyA6000.com and the other ones that I have for the A7, A7R, A99, A77 Mark II, A7S, and the A7. All of those I have videos on how to custom program this. So in short, what I do is I reprogram the center button right here to do the focus lock and it's just a very seamless thing where I press the center button three times once I choose something that's in the center and you'll see how it it, it works in this video that I'm about to do I went to our kids uh, preschool and photograph them in action you can basically see how the system works because otherwise you'll see that it tracks a whole bunch of different faces which one is it going to choose uh, it's kind of up to the camera at that point so then it becomes for you to decide of all of those objects which ones to focus on so that goes for either moving faces or uh things that aren't faces or backs of heads or whatever. And this is really a big concern, like say for example you're shooting a wedding and you want to have a bride and maybe the bouquet's in focus and the bride's out of focus. With face recognition on, you'd never be able to get to that without going on to lock autofocus. Okay, so I'm going to show you a quick demo of that and if you really want to learn how to do it, make sure to visit us at GaryFong.com, look for our premium videos and you'll see all of our instructional videos on how to unleash the power of your Sony cameras. Okay, now I'm going to open this up to so f1.4. Okay, so let's see focus recognition. I wanted to get it on Wesley. So I'm going to lock on him. There. There, see? Now let's lock on her. Okay, so now we're locked on her. You see all those other faces that it's locked on? We need to make sure. See, it's back to her again. Two, three. Okay, let's look at him. I have this on motor drive. Let's try some in black and white. Black and white. Cool. See how it stays on, even if he's off. And there goes the little bunny. Let's follow her. One, two, three. There. I just took about seven shots there. <laughs> You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do video. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, now we're on video. And now we're on video. See how it tracks his face?
It looks so cinematic right now because... Okay, let's put that on. Uh, turn it around. Hi, honey. Mm, mm, mm. No, touch my microphone. Say my microphone. Okay, it's video time. Now we're doing videos. That's kind of cool. Hi. I think I'm going to go back to... We're going to go to regular color. Okay. So creative style. We're going to go back to neutral. And let's do movie. Movies on. See how we track the faces? It's hanging on to his face. That square signifies his face.